Proloquofa Text is a text-based augmentative and alternative communication app or AAC app that is designed for people who cannot speak or who have difficulty making themselves understood. Proloquo for Text is designed for rapid, flexible, text-based communication and it supports multilingual users. Hi, my name's Amanda Hartman and I'm one of the speech pathologists here on the team at Assistiveware. So what do you get when you start off with Proloquo for Text? What does it look like? Where do you start? Well, we've put together a number of short and quick videos designed to help you make the most of this app so you can get communicating quickly and easily. This is our getting started video where we will look at the key features of Proloquo for Text. Please note that this is version 3 of the app. When you first launch Proloquo for Text, a startup wizard will guide you through the initial configuration. You can see I'm at the beginning of the startup wizard now, so I'm going to step through the process. It will not take very long. So first, enter the name of your user and tap the next button. Now we're going to pick a voice. You can see that I have lots of different voices available to choose from that support different region or regions. I'm going to choose Lisa. Hi, my name is Lisa. And then tap the next button. Now what's going to happen is that that voice will continue to download, but a lower quality substitute voice will be used while that's downloading. And this means that you can start communicating straight away. I also need to select a Spanish voice. Hola. As I have a Spanish keyboard loaded on my iPad. And this is so that I can demonstrate the multilingual features of the app later. Once I've chosen the voices, I click Next. And then I have a finishing page, which includes some links that I might like to check out to help me get started. But today I'm ready to go. So I'm going to click Finish in the top right corner and my new, my new user will load. Hello. Proloquo for text provides me a voice so I can speak. What would you like to talk about? As you can see, it is using the lower quality substitute voice, as the one we previously selected is still currently downloading. Ah, there. We just got this message to tell us that our voices have now been downloaded. So we can go ahead and look at the app, now with those high quality voices that we chose during the startup phase. Hello. The time it takes to download your voices will depend on how many voices it needs to download and what your internet connection is like. Firstly is this blue box in the center of the screen. It's called the text pad and it's the central hub of Proloquo for text. Using the keyboard, you can type anything you want to be spoken into the text pad. To hear the sentence, you can simply use punctuation marks, periods, full stops, exclamation marks, or in this instance, how are you? I will add a question mark. Then you can see it spoke the question aloud. I can also press this play button, which is located at the bottom of the text pad. How are you? And you may notice in that instance that the text is highlighted word by word as it is spoken aloud. And currently that's set to green. How are you? Now I can delete words in the text pad with the keyboard backspace. So how are your dogs? Oh, that's right. You don't have dogs. You have cats. And then adding the punctuation. How are your cats? And if I want to get rid of the message altogether, I can clear the entire text pad with this X button, which is next to the play button on the text pad. And if I accidentally made a mistake in deleting that message and I want to see it again, I can undo that delete by pressing this revert arrow here. And it brings back my sentence. How are your cats? One of the things I really love in Proloquo for Text version 3 is the full screen and flip buttons. These are really useful when you want to tell someone something without saying it aloud. So I type a message in the window. We need to leave at 7 p. 
p.m. for example and I want to save that to my friend and then on the top toolbar is what's called the full screen button which is right here so you can see when I tap that that the text is now much larger and now I can simply show someone my message and if the person I want to speak to is sitting opposite me down in the bottom left corner is the flip button which you can see when I press it it flips the text making it easier for the other person to read. Now let's push the cross here in the right hand corner to go back to our standard view. Anything I write in my text pad can be shared using the share icon which is on the top toolbar. This means any text that I have written into the text pad can be shared, for example, as an email or a message or perhaps into social media like Facebook if I had that app installed on my iPad. I can also click copy here um, and that allows me to copy the text that I have written and then which I can paste into another application on my iPad. As I mentioned, Proloquo for Text is designed for rapid, flexible text-based communication. Some of the awesome features within the app that allow this are word prediction and sentence prediction, both of which are designed to help you communicate with less effort. Prediction is a powerful tool, so if you want more information on how to make it work best for you, please watch our e-learning video called Setting Up Word Prediction. Anyway, you will see word and sentence prediction start working as I start typing. The word prediction you can see is the white bar immediately above the keyboard. So you can see that the word prediction is guessing that I want to say that. What is that? To access sentence prediction where the app is predicting what sentence I might be writing. I tap on the quick blocks to the left until I get to sentence prediction and then I can select one of these sentences. What is going to happen next? Now you saw a quick sneak then of the quick blocks which are the blocks on either side of the text pad so let's now look at them more closely because they give you access to a number of even more effort saving features. You can see that I access the different blocks by tapping the word at the top of each block. So when I tap on the phrases quick block it first takes me to my conversation quick block and then to my sentence prediction quick block. Similarly if I click on the quick talk quick block on the right side it will change to my history quick block. I can also hold my finger down on the word to get a drop down menu of the quick blocks. So if I hold down here I can switch straight to phrases or back to conversations and then to back to phrases and so forth. I can also make the quick blocks hide and appear by pressing these arrows at the sides. This allows me to make my typing space appear the way that I prefer. So what's in these quick blocks? Let's look at each of them. Firstly, there's history. So let's tap our quick talk and it takes us to our history block here on the right side. This is where I can say something without having to retype. How are you? It is important to note that history keeps a log of messages that have been played from the text pad, but not when speak as you type is used. Next is the phrases block on the left side where you can organize commonly used phrases, basically the things that you say often, into blocks for quick access. So for example, if I go shopping a lot, then I um, would like to use many of these sentences and phrases. I'd like to buy this. You can see so far, anytime I press something in the quick blocks, that that text is sent to the text pad as well as being spoken aloud. But next is the quick talk on the right side. 
And you can use the quick talk block for quick interjections. These are said aloud immediately without affecting the text that has been written in the text pad. So you can see I have my shopping sentence, I'd like to buy this, still in the text pad. And now with quick talk, I can press thank you. Thank you. And it says that message aloud, but it doesn't affect my sentence. These are the default settings for this quick block, quick talk block. Now, the last quick block we want to have a look at is conversations, which is again on the left hand side. And with conversations block, it means you can easily switch between conversations. It's a perfect way to say something new without having to, to delete the message you are currently in the middle of writing. So if I was writing something important in the text pad, so I'd like to buy this because it is my when someone interrupts me to ask me a question, then I can push the plus button, type my response quickly. I don't know. And then go back to my previous conversation and finish my sentence. I'd like to buy this because it is my sister's birthday. This is a very handy feature. To access any of these messages, I basically I tap on them. Other than for quick talk, these messages are then sent to the text pad. However, if I want to say something quickly without clearing my text pad, I can touch and hold it, hold any message and it will be spoken immediately rather than being sent to the text pad as normal. How much is it? Now I should mention quickly that the general appearance and location of some of these features may be different if you use your iPad in portrait view or if you are using Proloquo for text on your phone. So I just demonstrated the default settings of Proloquo for text, what it does and what it looks like straight out of the App Store. But one of the best things about Proloquo for text is that everything you see is customizable. You can change the appearance, colors, fonts, size and much more. Turn things on and off. But even more importantly, you can personalize the vocabulary and add messages quickly and easily to suit what you want to say. Please watch the editing and customizing Proloquo for Text e-learning videos for how to make these changes. Another key feature I want to mention briefly is the support for multiple languages in Proloquo for Text. If you speak multiple languages and use multiple iOS keyboards, Proloquo for Text will automatically change the language of the word prediction, the phrases and the other content when you switch between keyboards. I'm currently in English. And the easiest way to do this is hold down the glow button that's on the iOS keyboard at the bottom left and then select the language keyboard. Hold down the globe and now I'm going to select the Spanish El Español keyboard. You can see that automatically I now have Spanish throughout the app. Gracias. I can choose a phrase if I want to talk about food. Me gustaría algo de comer. So I can still talk about eating in Spanish. Awesome. And even when I type, my word prediction is in Spanish. Let me change back to English now, again by holding down the glow button on my keyboard and selecting English. There are many ways to customize and access your language settings, so you may like to watch the e-learning video on multiple languages for this. And lastly, please remember that you can always access the manual from within the app by going to the options, which is the cog on the top toolbar, and then selecting support, followed by the manual. So here is the manual ready to answer any questions you might have right when you're using the app. That was a quick overview of Proloquo for Text. Please check our website for more resources and videos to support using Proloquo for Text. Thank you.